Hello and welcome to a look at calculating beta with me, Andy Duncan, here at finlingo.com. In our earlier video, we defined what beta is. In this one, we're going to calculate it. As a reminder, beta basically tells us exactly how risky a target portfolio is when we measure it against a defined market portfolio. In the United States, for instance, the market portfolio might get defined as the S&P 500 index. The market also always gets defined as having a beta of 1. Once we've got the beta of a target portfolio, we can then figure out its expected return by using the capital asset pricing model and its security market line. We're going to do exactly that in another follow-up video. But first, we need to calculate beta for a specific target portfolio. To get going, we need this basic equation. Beta is given by dividing the covariance between a target portfolio and the market portfolio. We divide this by the measured variance of the market or its sigma squared. If you're unsure about either covariance or variance, you might want to watch our videos on these two topics, and these are detailed in the show notes. If you have watched the covariance video, you might remember that the correlation between two different portfolios is also given by the coefficient of rho, and this value is equal to this equation. A correlation equals the covariance between two assets, such as our target portfolio and our market portfolio, divided by their respective standard deviations, or sigmas, or volatilities. So let's rearrange this equation to get covariance by itself. Once we've got that done, we can rearrange the basic beta equation to figure out a different way of getting to beta. So basically, as long as we've either got the covariance and the market variance, or the correlation and its two related standard deviations, we can always get to beta. So let's try out the two different ways using a pair of questions on Finlingo. In this first question, we've got the covariance and the variance, so we're all good. Let me note down those numbers, then I'll move them across to a cunning Excel spreadsheet. So we plug in the covariance between the target and the market of minus 107.11, then we input the market variance of 214.87. Next up, we divide the covariance by the market variance, and this gives us a beta of minus 0.498. Let's click on Finlingo to check if we're correct. Excellent news! So now we can try the second question type. This time we've got the correlation and the two related standard deviations. Let me note them down again, then I'll transfer them over to my amazing spreadsheet. So we input 0.58 for the correlation, 16.58 for the portfolio standard deviation, and then 19.18 for the market standard deviation. Here we've multiplied the correlation with the portfolio sigma, or standard deviation, to get to the top number in this equation. Next, we divide this number by the market standard deviation, or sigma, to get to a beta value of 0 0.501. Once again, let's get back to Finlingo to check the workings. And it's all looking fabulous. Head on over now to finlingo.com to get an infinite number of questions on how to calculate beta, along with hundreds of other CFA question types. Finlingo. Speak finance fluently.